Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video, and today I will be doing a review of the Cheerson CX-10C, as you can see here. Now, it may look pretty much the same as an original CX-10, same exact size. However, as you can see here, they have now added in a very small camera somehow. I really have no idea how they managed to fit a camera in there, but um, the body is pretty much the same. They did change the paint scheme. There's now um, black and gold, as you can see here, and there's also a orange and black version, and they both have a little eye with wings on it, because it's now a, a flying eye. Um, the prop size has stayed exactly the same, motor size the same, and I'm not sure what, if I haven't tried binding with the 610 or 610A transmitters yet, but it does look like maybe a blue board, so maybe 610A protocol. And because of that um, added camera in there, they had to downscale the batteries. You can see the compartment's a little bit bigger. So now instead of a 100 milliamp hour battery, it's only a 75 milliamp hour. So extra weight and smaller battery isn't really going to lend too well to flight times. It comes with a bag of spare props, as you can see there, full set, and a USB charging cable, ending in the same standard connector that most nanos use. And down here you can see the orange version as well, the black and the orange one. It comes with a user manual as you can see here, pretty much the same as other standard Shearson models, just, you know, nothing too special or too bad there. It's okay English, I guess. And the transmitter it comes with is pretty similar to the other ones, same exact size, nano size. Um, however, as you can see, they've now adopted the roll trim into a camera function, so you have photos and video. On the quad here, you have the camera up front, and then on the one side, there is an on-off switch with the plug, as you can see there, to charge it. And then on the other side, there is a slot for the uh, micro SD card, and now it does not come with a card, you need to supply your own, and it just slots into the side right there, so that's pretty cool how they managed to get in there. And note, it does not come with a card, you have to provide your own, so... and it, the, I'm pretty sure the camera is 0.3 megapixel, so pretty low quality, definitely it's not going to be anything great. Um, the quality, I've seen some videos where it's actually not too bad. Uh, my quality was, uh, it was okay, it's worse than um, most of the regular built-in cameras, like the 2 megapixel ones that come on larger quads, but for what it is, I mean, it's the same exact size, that's pretty amazing how they're able to do that. And now, like I said earlier, with them having to incorporate a smaller battery and it gets um, lower flight times, with the stock USB charger, the battery takes about 20 minutes to charge, so not too long the charge times. However, you only get about 3 to 4 minutes of flight because it just smaller battery and the extra weight, and also taking power record, it just does not last very long. And this has been confirmed by plenty of other people, around 3 to 4 minutes is all you're going to be able to expect, even if you're not doing much. Now I'll turn it on here, and I'll show you the transmitter and the lights on it. So here we have on the quad, there are two blue LEDs up front. As you can see, the camera's just blocking them out. They're not too bright, though. And then you have two reds in the back, so in the right order. And the, camera, there, the lights are blocking them out. And then you also have a little light up here in this hole, as you can see there, which is the status of the camera. It flashes when it's recording, so that's pretty nice. I like that feature. And now here on the transmitter, there's no shoulder buttons because this one's one of the clicky um, stick buttons. Click, clicky stick transmitters. So if you click in your right stick and you give input, it'll do a flip in that direction. And you also click in your left stick to cycle through rates. And now there are three rates, and I'm pretty sure the yaw is one constant yaw, and it's a pretty pretty slow yaw for sure. Um, I think the same as the CX-10A because this is basically a 610A just with the camera built in. So it's not too aggressive and it's super, super stable. Like it hovers really well, which lends good for footage. And there's also not really any jello in it, which is good. And you have three rates there. There's no headless mode, which I'm glad about. And then, like I said, you have, you know, there's no yaw trim, but you do have uh, forward and backwards pitch trim, but that's all that's left since they used over here. Whoops, drop transmitter. Lucky the, oh, it must have shut off. Let me see. I'll just turn it off. I don't know what happened there. All right, but you have on your left button, left side, you have pictures. Take that, click that, and it'll take a picture. On your right, you have uh, video, so you press it to start and then press it again to stop video. 
and you recalibrate the accelerometer by, I believe it's, um, it's either doing this, I think. Okay, sorry about that, I just had to check real quick because I wasn't going to leave it at that just to make sure. So to recalibrate it, you put the sticks like that and the lights on the quad will blink, as you can see there, and that'll recalibrate the accelerometer. Um, let's see. Like I said, it gets pretty really short flight times because of that extra weight, and it's kind of the camera's pretty bad quality. It's just really a novelty. Um, but it is super stable, and it is not too bad of a flyer. It just doesn't fly for very long. And it comes in at around 30 bucks, I believe. So, you know, not really too great of value, but it is pretty impressive that they managed to fit a camera in it um, that size. So that still impresses me. Um, so, yeah, that was about it for the review. So now let's go check out an indoor flight. So let's go see it. Okay, here we are for the indoor flight of the Cheerson CX-10C, which is the world's smallest quadcopter with a camera. Not the world's smallest quadcopter, but the world's smallest with a camera as of right now. Obviously, it's maybe going to be beaten. I don't see how, um, but let's just set it here. And I got it bound to the stock nano transmitter. Not really a fan of it, just, you know, the size. It's just so small. Um, but let's just start out. And at low rates here. I'll try and get everything in before the flight battery is done. As you can see, it's very stable, just like um, all the others. So it's a, it would be a good filming platform. It's just the camera on it is not very high quality. Let's get above it. As you can see there, pretty stable quad. Now, here is the yaw. I'm not sure if this yaw changes. I forget. Nope, that's the one constant yaw it has. Now here is low rate pitch, so as you can see, pretty low pitch. Here's mid rate, a little bit more. Then here's high rate. So on high rates, the pitch is not too bad. It's not as good, I feel, as the original CX-10, but it's fairly aggressive. Now let's do some... Uh, I took a picture accident there. Uh, no, I'm taking a video, right? <laughs> Alright, I'll do a little indoor footage. I have some outdoor footage, but the camera overall is just not... Very good. Um, obviously, it's just such a small camera. Now, I've seen other people um, have this, and their camera looks pretty good. But mine doesn't look what theirs does, so... Not sure if it's quality control or what, but there we go. I stopped the footage. So now, let's do some flips, and just click in the right stick, and then do your input. And since it has the camera, it takes a little bit more throttle to recover. But if you're going up on the flip before you do it, it recovers very nicely. So it still does really nice flips. So it's pretty much, they, they were able to almost keep it the same as the original, they just added the camera in, which is, I think, really cool. And it does fly a little bit heavier, and shorter flight times, because that's only a 75 milliamp hour battery, they had to, they increased the weight and decreased the battery size, so that's gonna give you shorter flight times. I think it's probably somewhere in between the CX-10 original and the CX-10A in terms of aggressiveness. Like, it's not as slow as the CX-10A, but it's, um, I think not as fast as the original. Um, but overall, it's a pretty nice quad. I mean, it's about 30 bucks. I bought mine from T-Mart, I think the day it came out. They got theirs early. So that's why I got mine a little bit earlier than some others. Um, but I, the camera's kind of just like a gimmick, I mean, it does function, it's just, I mean, nothing you would want to really use. I mean, it'd be, yeah, I guess it'd be fun to, like, play around with, like, show your friends or something, but it is still, um, I guess that's good enough, it is still pretty impressive that they were able to fit a camera in that small of a quad. Um, so there we go, that was my review of the Cheerson CX-10C, a little world's smallest quadcopter now with a camera. Um, I'd be really, really impressed if they could fit one, a camera on the FX10. Uh, that's the, the even newer, smaller one, but um, it's pretty good overall. It's If you don't really want the camera, I mean, there's not too much use to it other than just the wow factor. I'd say just stay with the original CX10. That's probably proven to be the best one overall. Um, but please subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.